Hi guys, so welcome to the vlog. So today is the day. We are here, Middlesex University. As you see behind me, we've got about 400 students coming in for the session. And let me introduce you, Fessel. He's gonna be helping out, coming all the way from Manchester to support. And he's gonna be taking some pictures and some videos. And I'm gonna teach him the London slang. So wagwan, Fessel. Wagwan. <laughs> so we're just gonna wait for a few more people to come in, then we're gonna get the show on the road. But I couldn't make any sense of what I was saying. So the first thing my mum thought, oh my god, my son's on drugs. I was a bit poorly, I'll go to hospital, get some tablets, and I'll be back that night. When she saw me, I was on breathing machines. There's machines all around my bed. My bed was taped off, people couldn't step over the line. They had to wear gowns and masks because they didn't know what I had at this point. But they were able to communicate to each other on the same level, and I was just showing each other love. Okay, so it's now lunchtime. The hall has cleared. Some of the comments worried about maintaining my job and keeping on target with uni work. And then there's another one that says here from Anonymous, Anthony, your peng. That person is from London. <laughs> Session number two. Yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Z. Um, I'm a marketing student. Um, I'm actually currently going into my second year. Um, I came as a mature student, um, really nervous, really shy, thinking with a disability, thinking, oh my god, I won't last two weeks. But it was actually one of the ambassadors that actually came you know, on the first day, she was absolutely amazing. I thought, I want to do what she does. I'm, I came here personally as an international student, no family whatsoever, had not even a distant aunt or a third cousin here in London. We have so many people that are involved in trying to get you not just passing but getting you that first getting you that distinction you may think that your schedules come up you think that you don't have any time you think that lectures seminars and then you're working in between them i just studied uh, ba criminology and policing i had a part-time job at bp and i'm a student ambassador and i still pass with a first class really? honest there was, there was also one that said Anthony is pink. <laughs> Leah just asked, what does peng mean? <laughs> Who wants to offer an explanation of peng to Leah? <laughs> she said just him. <laughs> I'd like to start by saying 077. <laughs> Who's going to come to the front? Who's coming? Hey! Can we have a round of applause, please? Teddy. Teddy. Yeah. Teddy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you whatever is in my back pocket. Okay. Here we go. Oh, we can golden envelope. Would you mind? Congratulations, you step forward to face the unknown and for that Middlesex University are offering you one year's free gym membership at the university. Guys, I want to introduce you to Leah, who is Hi. part of the team who has made this whole day possible. So we've done two sessions now, and now we've broke, the teams are broken up into different groups. So That's can you really talk nice. us through what's happening now, where we're going? So our, one of the first events here, this is what we're calling the Diversity Hop. It's been written by Dorian, she's one of our lecturers in Human Resource Management. Yeah. And it is a bit of fun, but it's going to get students to actually explore the diversity amongst them um, by way of general knowledge and also the way that she runs it is promoting people to come forward for team leadership opportunities as well. well. If I was a member of team A and I threw five with the dice, then I'm answering the fifth question. And how many students come to Middlesex University? It's quite a big, big university. This year we're going to be welcoming about five and a half 
5,000 brand new students. Wow. I think overall there's about 26,000, so there's lots. Wow. And we have campuses in Dubai, Mauritius, oh, so it's not just here, it's... and Malta. So what I'm taking from this is Middlesex University is slowly taking over the world. Oh, well, we're trying, yeah. <laughs> It seems yeah. like they're not left alone, they don't have to do the whole journey by themselves, there's support wherever they look. There is support, but it is as some of the, the fears and that the students yeah. actually put forward themselves. It's sometimes it's the fear of actually reaching out for the help yeah. and yeah. that's the bit that we need to help them with. Is there any way you can reference your own work, maybe a topic you've done somewhere else before? What you can do is read through that work that you wrote. And, and think about, well, how can I rephrase this information? But well, you can't submit the exact same thing. <laughs> okay, so I found some non-shy students who are willing to be on camera. So you got Pfizer, we've got Samsung and Delonte. So guys, how have you found the day so far? It was good. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I think I turned off, like honestly. Did you? <laughs> I wanted to get an idea of the uni because it's a bit nervous starting somewhere new. You're happy, um, for sure. Um, you made some friends today? Yeah, I spoke to a few people that were sitting next to you, got to know a bit about them. Have you known each other from before today? No. I just met him and I just met her. She's very bubbly, so very, she, could, she kind of broke the ice. She's just like, hello, oh, guys. We were like, hello. What <laughs> you enjoyed the most today? I think your stories motivate me to like not say no, as you said before, say yes. So take whatever opportunity I have given, take the advantage of it. Because yeah. like I've said, we have like, even uni is an example. People come from all over different countries to come to this uni in, in London. And we have it at our doorsteps and we still don't take advantage of it. Yeah, it's true. So, yeah. Very eye-opening. Yeah. I've, I've learned to, um, from you to not take everything by negative that happens to you as a, like, as a, like, a, step back. Yeah, step back. Don't do it. As a lesson. Just move. Take life one step Turn at a time. Turn your L's into lessons. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was so nice. <laughs> hey, what's been your highlight? What have you really enjoyed today? Well, especially your story. Yeah. yeah. It, it was. It was very helpful. Um, and you know, we're glad you are here. You said yes to a lot of stuff, and I look forward to say a lot of stuff too. Awesome. What about yourself? Two things, mainly with you as well, because you changed my perspective on quite a lot of things because I took notes. Appreciate and you, like, yeah. Everything. Yeah, literally. And the last one would be the scavenger hunt because even though I was thinking, oh my gosh, this is crazy, oh but at the same time, it helps know where everything is, and I met that a nice amount of people. So yeah, it's good. Wicked. What about yourself? Your speech for sure. It made my day. Um, definitely changed the way I look at life. Um, and and that scavenger hunt as well. It's a lot of fun. You know, made new friends. So. Nice though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Making friends for life. Do you know what? I would have thought that you three would have known each other from before. Where no. you connected. I uh, don't. I just met them five minutes ago. Yeah. Really? I met her on um on Facebook, Facebook, yeah. Facebook chat. And yeah. Just started chatting. So. I like this year. Like everyone's communicating really yeah. well. So it's like, oh yeah, let's make Facebook chat. Let's do this, let's do that. that. It's like, okay, great. Yeah. You'd recommend to people to do, to get involved. Definitely. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah 100%. Okay. It's great. It, it helps us so much. It literally, it's so good. Uh, there was, it showed us where the gym is. It yeah. showed us where student union is. Where the, if you have any sort of illness, mental illness, where if you have dyslexia, where to go to get help. So it was very helpful, really. My way here, and um, I'm, I couldn't be happier. And what, I, what, I, what, 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 what I want to say to you all is that. <coughs> excuse me. Um, Take your time. Um, changing plans is never a, ba a, a, a bad thing because yeah. you, you, you've, you've got all, this, all, 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 all the time in the world. You, 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 you know, take time to. F you, you need to take time in order to f f figure out what you want to do, and it. It, it, and from, from the looks of it, a lot, a, a lot, a lot of these sort, sort of have a sort of a, a good idea, and that's fantastic. Um, so what, what I want to say is um, good luck, and um, yeah, that's about it. The start of my A level was year twelve, and I was so excited. Last step for university. And all of a sudden what happens is I'm caught up in a massive sort of case thing where suddenly 
I'm doing my homework for biology during the day, and by night, I'm in a prison cell. <laughs> yeah, because for some reason, someone had accused me of doing something that I never did. Right, so on a basis of mistaken identity, spent 24 hours in the prison cell, right? Those 24 hours were probably the longest I have ever had to spend. And so my dad always tells me that you live every single day as if you don't know what tomorrow will bring. I think the question is why I'm going to university. Um, I wasn't supposed to actually, well, I wasn't born in this country, so when I was born in Ethiopia, um, it was kind of hard for my family to be able to send me to university, so, um, and there was sort of like, there's a corrupt government and stuff like that, so it was very hard for me to be able to get a good education in such a country like that. So, um, and my dad was a journalist who wrote against the government, so it was kind of dangerous for me and my family to stay in that country. Therefore, we had to move to a different country, so he did first, and then, uh, me and my family followed, so I came here when I was nine, and I didn't know like the language, I didn't know the culture, I didn't know who I was going to meet, it was just all terrifying, so if I can come to a different country and study a whole, like, a completely different language and be fluent in that, enough to go to university to study law, I think that, like, everyone should go to university, so, yeah. That's